has to slow down Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out Who will care for the world now? Rest with me Close to curtains Brew some herbal tea So, so far today, we haven't done much, have we, James? We've uh, got the wire. Oh, I can show them the wire. We have power. We have to power the to the shop. <laughs> got the power. Du, 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 du. It's, we haven't finalised it yet, but he's going to cut the bits and bobs off, aren't you, babe? You've apparently inspired quite a lot of people with your cardboard king. Oh, really? Yeah, everyone... Nice. At, I've got comments saying how much more respect people have got for cardboard now and how they're getting rid and they're painting it as well, making little cupboards and painting oh, yeah. it. Oh, well done. So, a yeah, step beyond even. Oh, so, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah really get a glue gun, they're really cheap. Yeah, they're, glue gun. They're easy. They burn through glue sticks quite quickly, but uh, they're great. Any other cardboard king tips for, the, um, um, for this week? Well, if you're cutting cardboard, be careful with your fingers. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, get a cutting mat if you can. Um, get a good ruler where your fingers are safe. There's a guard on it or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, have fun. Have fun. Get creative. Get creative. Yeah. Can't go wrong. You can just recycle what you have. What if it goes wrong? Yeah, couldn't that's, you? That's one of them I like about it. Yeah. The recycling aspect of it. Close to curtains. Brew some herbal tea. So I'm just trying out my new um, selfie stick and you may find this hard to believe but James and I haven't had a selfie stick before so I ordered one and it arrived yesterday so we've been playing with it a little bit over on the Instagram so you might have seen that and I'm going to if I can show you attempt the snug today so I think I'm going to call it the snug, but um, it's a little bit of a mess and a little bit of a pickle at the moment. So I'm going to wait till it's done before I decide what I'm going to call that little area. And just before I attempt the snug, I'm going to finish off the feng shuiing of the room. So I'm going to sort of yeah, do that with you as well today. I'm trying to hold this steady, sorry. So I can work out what I'm doing with the whole L shape thing. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So, welcome to the Oval Office. I've brought in, last time I did um, Feng Shui in my other room, I um, got asked quite a few questions of recommendations, please, for a Feng Shui book. And as you may or may not know, several years ago, James and I sold the house, um, all our stuff, got rid of most of our books, and so I don't really own that many books. I've got more now, I'm kind of rebuilding a collection, it seems, um, certainly some arty books, but this is one of the books I kept, and this is the book I kind of got inspired to start feng shui years and years ago. So it's quite an old book, I think it was saying here published 98, but it's a really lovely book, so I thought I would 
bring that in this morning to not only show you but just to recap on the feng shui you can see where it's been a very well used um, chapter of the book feng shui fundamentals and it's a book by jane alexander how to make your home a sanctuary and it's a really lovely book so if you haven't seen that one that might be a nice um, recommendation so yeah it goes through the basics here um, the the bagua the bagua map which i actually did so i can show you the last room so this is my last room if i go you see the triangle where the window there's a bit of glare on that let's take that out of the packet this is all my um to scale furniture that James made me. Look, there's the Oval Office to scale. Really handy. And he's done me um, another to scale map. So let's pull that one out as well and I can show you. I'm very lucky, but I've got, yes, a to scale map. And then I, I can literally, this is what we did. I think the first day we moved into the, um, into this new office, we forgot to bring or to scale map and so we struggled a bit with where to put the furniture so that's my easel um, you can see here where the door is and then that's he's done me a day bed as well so I talked to you about my day bed which might be going here in the snug um, oval office is here the white cupboardy is there got a couple of shelves the standing desk um, the white the art journaling table that I'm going to hopefully get to today and the metal shelf so that's kind of how we ended up doing it so that's the to scale plan of that one but just let me go back to the other the old room the previous room which yeah you can see that a little bit better now so there's the door yeah so this is going to be where the door is so your door is either going to be in wisdom and knowledge career or helpful people so as you can see in my last room, my door was at knowledge and wisdom. And then in my new room, you can see this L-shaped thing I've got going on, but it's in helpful people. So that's how you map it out. But it, it's really, really easy and there's loads of websites and things like that. So I tend to now, if I want to have some fixes and things like that, um, so, for example, a fix for the L shape of the room. I just go online and kind of, yeah, put a search in for, for the bits and bobs I want. That's kind of what I do. So I don't have a specific book that I would actually recommend. But that's what we did. So you don't have to have it to scale um, plan either of your room, but just a little sketch. And then you can overlay the bagua on. And you can see what I did last time was to put it in a in a see-through pocket and then I just wrote on top with a, a sharpie so you can see here I've got the heart of the chi it's that glare really bad there we go you can kind of see there that where I just kind of wrote it over the top so that was really really helpful so I think on this one I've kind of stuck the labels up already around the room and so I'm just going to make three more labels that I've lost in transit, basically. And um, hang on a sec. Let's see if I can show you the, um, the corners according to the plan. I call them corners, but the, the areas, if you like. So, so let's start at the door. So here in the room, we've got helpful people and travel. And then this, this area is unlabeled at the moment. And funnily enough, it's creativity in children. So that's pretty cool. That's my painting area, my main painting area anyway. So if I just move round from my creativity in children into the corner there, I've got that corner there is all love and partnership. So yeah, that's gonna be quite a nice corner to do as well. We've got some art supplies, plants, some nice light so it's nice and bright and airy so yeah quite an important area yes yeah, so this area here with all the oval office and the lovely window with all the plants that's reputation and fame and then we've got in this corner if you imagine the l shape wasn't there we've got prosperity and abundance 
So I'll tell you about the L shape in a minute. Just pretend that wasn't there for a sec. So the next area that would be here is family and health. So I've kind of put that um, here and that's not right. It should actually be more here. So that's family and health. And then this is more wisdom and self-improvement. And then over here, we've got career and life mission in that corner there. So that's kind of mapped out. And then back to the door, and we've got helpful people. So obviously we've got the L shape to deal with in here, whether I call this the little snug or not, and I'm not sure yet. But yeah, where we're gonna do art journaling and stuff. And this obviously gives some extra space and it's almost like there's a missing corner here. So I'm thinking I might do something with the mirror there, whether that's practical, I don't know. So maybe give the mirror so it pushes back that corner, if you like, if I stood the mirror here. That was one of my ideas. But I'm basically treating the room as one space rather than two because the L shape in this room is really small. It's just a little nook. So I don't really want to separate it into two. What you can do is sort of treat each part of the L shape as a separate room, but I want to kind of include it in this one because it is just a little nook. So going back to the plan then, I'm gonna use this part here as more prosperity and abundance and then family and health and then this part here for knowledge and wisdom and then career and life path and then that gives me a little bit more leeway because obviously here I'm supposed to sort of in tradition fit three different things so if I put two and then have it moved around a little bit in a way so instead of having career here and then knowledge and wisdom here. I'm gonna do career to here, and then knowledge and wisdom, so it sort of crosses over a bit. And then I have a little bit more leeway for health, a nice space for health, and a nice bigger space for abundance. And then just keep it all, hopefully, the air moving around, not too much stuff stored underneath things. I had a few comments last week about ideas for in a sec. Yeah, lots of helpful comments and ideas last week. It's so nice, isn't it, to pool ideas and share what our thoughts. So thank you for those. And quite a few people were talking about having a curtain that would, you know, kind of cover up what's underneath the table. But I don't want to do that because I find that a bit dangerous for me. Because if I do that, I will literally start stuffing things underneath. So I can't have easy access if that makes sense. So I'm gonna keep the room kind of like open, light and airy, and that's really good to help the chi move around, obviously the energy, the chi, and it keeps the space and the air really healthy so that when you come in, you feel good. And this is the whole point about environments, isn't it? Say you're really busy at work for a, for a couple of months and you haven't had time to, to tidy up and clean and organize your home space, it becomes really stressful, doesn't it? sort of like you lose things and you can't find things when you're in a rush and that kind of thing. So it's a much happier, relaxing morning if everything's all tickety-boo. And the same when you come home in the evening and you're really tired. If everything's a mess and a pickle, it's really hard to unwind. And so, you know, just looking up, up that area there, it's like, I don't really feel like going in there right now and sitting in my art journal and doing some deep work, some, some deep soul work in that pickle. So that needs addressing, definitely, because, yeah, I haven't worked in my journal since I moved in. So we need to sort that out, don't we? So once you've mapped out the bagua with the plan of your room, um, it's just a little bit about the eight areas in this book that just gives you like an overview if you are really, really new to Feng Shui and it's really quite helpful. So it just tells you that, you know, family is not just immediate family, but it's also your ancestors. Um, knowledge is lots of different things, learning, wisdom. Um, if anyone in the family is studying, this corner will need attention, but it also is inner knowledge, spiritual wisdom, fresh ideas and inspiration. So it sort of goes through a little bit more detail of what, what the things are. 
in your career, if you're having difficulties in your career, you want a nice smooth running space um, for ease. And if you want a higher profile, you want to maybe boost that area with some of the fixes as well. It does go into that a little bit later on in the in the chapter. And then helpful people. It says nurturing this corner makes sure people you need greet you with a smiling face and a willingness to help. You could find help in unexpected places. And I have actually just addressed this little area at home after my whole Insta thing, if you saw last week's video. Um, there is more to tell on that, by the way, as well, which I'm not going to go into this week because I need a complete break from it. But I've addressed that because I need some helpful people in that area. And then children is also creativity. So it's not just about children, but it's about creativity, imagination, artistic endeavours, it says here. Um, creative answers to problems so that com comes under the children section and then you've got marriage but it's also love relationships and also your relationship with the wider world including our relationship with ourselves so that's a really sort of self-care self-love area as well and then you've got fame and reputation which is all to do with self-esteem and confidence how you feel about yourself you know do you feel good about who you are and then wealth and abundance material side of things and also it says here your feelings of abundance do you feel rich with blessings so here i kind of include all the gratitude practices and things that i do so if you haven't hopped over to my fantastic new instagram account now <laughs> which i had to set up because of what happened which you've probably seen in last week's video hop over there because we're doing all the gratitude and blessings weekly posts and lots of other stuff as well which is really to do with feeling good and self-care and the gratitude and it's a place where we can all count our blessings together and share them and I love that because then that's really inspiring for everybody so I'm just going to write out then the areas I've missed and then plot them out in the in the actual room I find it helps to actually put the labels up so you know like where I've you know stick them up in situ if you like over here and I did that last time as well. And then it's like, you know, as you're getting used to your new room, you might be sitting in the corner having a cup of tea and you think, oh, I can't remember what that area is out of the eight areas. And then you've got, you've got your labels up so you do remember and then you can take them down once, you, um, once you've memorized it. So just as a quick skim then into thinking about whether I've got any issues and things that I might need to address, there's a couple of areas that are a little bit tricky. Right. So reputation, fame, place in the world, I think that's going to be an area I need to keep tidy for sure because there's lots of bits and bobs but it looks like a lovely easy place to sort of celebrate all that with all that lovely window as well. And then this area here, this area of, um, oh dear, I need to get rid of some boxes, uh, storing things that I just kind of don't have a home for yet. So it's a little bit like a misfit area. Anything that's a little bit misfit. And yeah, there's some empty stuff, empty boxes up there as well. And then some hooks that need to go up. So the helpful people area, just give you the full look, plant hospital, bucket, some bits and bobs that's a carpet hooks are propped up with the carpet so this at the moment is not boding well for helpful people in my life is it hmm. and then a nice clear emergency exit here which is obviously for helpful people moving very swiftly into what should be career and life mission and then wisdom and inner knowledge so what i'm going to do to fix this area is i think helpful people will be okay once i've dealt with all that and i have just moved in so hey i'm not going to judge myself too harshly but this area here wisdom and my career so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this whole part of the shop all down here and 
and you know everything matters what how you store things safety even the bin the bin's overflowing at the moment so you know that's not good for that area boxes that need dealing with so let's have this area really organized and neat and tidy and then I can literally where this shelf starts I'm then going to move into wisdom and self-improvement and make sure that everything in this area is um, organized and uh, yeah works really well and then obviously to keep the chi nice I need to keep the space really really clear free and um, you know this is my this is my walkway into the room as well so I come from the door and I walk to where I kind of sit in the Oval Office or I move around over here so I want to keep these areas really clear that's really important as well to keep the energy moving around so I'm sure I'll find other things that I need to address and do fixes of and if you want to know some fixes I suggest just looking on the internet and doing a search that's what I do anyway and there's things like you know lighting a candle putting certain colored crystals even just keeping it dust free and organized and clean and tidy is really important other fixes are things like mirrors they can be really useful um, yeah yeah, all sorts of things so and looking at the elements as well so you might need to bring in some wood or some metal or some water or some air so if an area needs some air for example this is just off the top of my head I am NOT an expert big disclaimer there but I think feathers um, are good for you know bringing some air in so you can have a feather or a mobile something that's actually going to move with the air something like hanging some bells up and, and things like that so have a look online for fixes because I'm, I'm not an expert um, as I say And you kind of see my progress so I'll show you properly in a minute but yeah I'm making progress basically is what I'm trying to say but hang on a second minute turn you around so yeah I'm having a few issues with a couple of things this is me thinking that the, that the day bed the little cubby snug sitting area is just going to go along there I'm not 100% sure that I want it. I have to say, I have to admit, I'm probably going to have to try it for a couple of weeks. However, I'm probably going to take those off there and put them, you know, stand them on the floor. That's much more practical. This stuff down here is kind of older artworks, a load of drawings and sketches and all sorts of stuff that I'd like to sort through, perhaps declutter, get rid of some of it and then I'm thinking that can live just under there where I can access it if I need any drawings and then I managed to this this old vintage box perfectly fit fits my um, 8x8 canvases so that's incredible so that's got rid of a load of those and boxed them up in a really nice box what else am I having an issue with yeah I'm having quite an issue with where to put the mirror because I quite liked it over there 
it's nice to be able to come back from the mirror and use it for drawing, which is really what I use it for in the studio, as well as it's nice for reflecting light and things like that. It's a nice item to have, a mirror. Um, so yeah, I don't know where the mirror's going to live yet. I've worked quite a lot just under the table as well because, yeah, I needed space to put my legs, obviously. So I've got three collage boxes. Can you see? I'm showing you very well. Three collage boxes there, as well as the random, no rhyme or reason why we're putting the packaging boxes there, except they just fit snugly. And then I've put the canvases, rather than have them on the top of the table, I've moved them onto the floor. Maybe they stay there, maybe they don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not set on any of this really, but um, that's what it's looking like so far. So I'm just going to, yeah, I think do the final bits for today. I have to go and do, get a few bits and bobs from the shop, so see how far we get anyway. finished and I haven't finalized and I don't like to you know fine-tune everything until I've actually started working and I can work out whether it's ergonomically you know useful so some things are going to need to be shifted and stuff but I will give you a quick look because um, it looks so so much better the weather's gone I don't know if you can see can you see out there sky's gone really really white it's been snowing sleeting it's crazy out there and it's really really freezing cold not looking forward to going out in that in a minute but anyway so i'll give you a little preview of where i'm at so far um i have got quite a lot done so in actual fact yeah i'm pretty happy with it but i think i've got the prosperity abundance and wealth area and then where you're sitting in the family and health area i think i've got them yeah kind of set up to the next level anyway and there's one more thing that i haven't shown you yet i actually ordered some more lights i think i mentioned that i was going to get some more fairy lights so i've got those to put up i don't know whether to have them sort of hanging over the the oval office or into the snug where the art journaling table is so yeah that's a kind of overview of the of the space and i've cleared it completely ready in case we bring the day bed in tomorrow so i've got that space all ready that's the space for it and i've left the mirror over here for now because i think it might just be happy there with i've got two larger canvases um so i just stored those there and then the art journaling table is looking like that so far so for family and health i'm gonna put a nice on this wall here i'm gonna have sort of like an inspiration wall i think and i've dedicated this this notice board was in the shop and it's a, it's a little bit rough around the edges that notice board so i might end up getting an, another one a bigger one actually we'll see how i get on but for now i'm going to utilize it because we weren't really using it in the shop so i might as well bring it over here for now um, and that's kind of how I've set the space up to make it work for now. So I'm thinking this, yeah, this wall here, lots of inspiration, favourite postcards, any quotes, any journaling inspo, you know, things like that that I want around me. And then this side, I have just propped this little shelf up. So I don't know if you can see, can I show you a bit better? Um, I'll pull that out so you can see under here I've put a couple of baskets just for now because I haven't attached it to the wall and it has got mirror plates um, it's just a little old 
shabby vintagey type shelf which I, I think is really really cute you know for journals and knickknacks and things like that so you know again that's not final you know I could make it a lot prettier and put some really pretty fairy lights around it so we're just at the next layer and if you uh if you are familiar with fl fly lady flylady.net and the fly stands for finally love yourself i'll leave a link to her website because she's been going for years and she's absolutely amazing and i think she does have some youtube videos up as well but she's all about clearing the clutter keeping things tidy getting into routine and all that stuff so this is a layer where it doesn't have to be perf perfect and it doesn't have to be finished and i think my brain is getting a bit decisioned out now it's getting a little bit decision fatigued i think i'm kind of done with the major things but you know for now i wanted to see what that shelf whether it whether i could utilize it here or whether to put it here and i'm a very visual person i like to see things in situ so i've actually given it a go with some baskets but you know dr diy aka james in the house maybe tomorrow or saturday and he might be able to put that up for me if i decide to have it there so nothing set in stone yet there and then i've got as i had in the last room i've got my basket full of art journals i've also managed to <laughs> empty this basket which for now is just got some random bits and bobs in but I think that's a really useful shape and size for art journaling bits and bobs whether I put I don't know art supplies in there or whether I use it for ephemera and collage materials and then I've got my my work board my drawing board and at the moment that's just how it was before with all my kind of art supplies and trays and, and things like that I've got um, I don't know if you remember those beautiful roses I bought the other week, but I'm drying all the all the rose heads out because they're so pretty. Make a nice noise as well. And some earlier roses that I bought. They're lovely to draw. And you can kind of, you know, put them in a composition with... I'm not showing you very well, am I? You can kind of put them in a composition with the fake flowers as well and, yeah, just create something quite interesting to draw on as a still life. And then what else have I got here then? So I've got my Karen Dash pencils. Um, I actually lost one. One was missing and it was really annoying me. And I had to find it. I had to stop. Everything had to stop and I had to find it. But these are the piece de resistance of pencil crayons, the Luminance range. And so I saved my pennies and treated myself last year to those. So I need to have space. They were living on my art trolley, but I'd, I'd like them on my table because they really should, you know, be accessible for me. And then this tray at the moment is just, yeah, housing stacks of things from when I moved. But basically it's got, it's got my art journal in here. So there should be like a, you know, the little dragonfly under here and it's it's the handmade art journal is in here with some bits and bobs so I do need to go through that tray and just sort it out but if I can show you yeah from this angle that's how it looks so far and then once I actually start working here which I can now because I can just really quickly move these trays grab my journal sit here get inspired hopefully yeah art journal away and then I can sort of shuffle things around a bit got a couple of um containers here with art supplies so this is things that I don't use so I'm thinking of sort of letting go of some of this stuff and um some of the pens as well in in this basket this basket's got kind of all my stampers in and some inks and these I've put to the side because I've I haven't used them yet, so I don't know if I'm going to keep hold of those. A couple of other bits and bobs boxes are always useful. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. So I've still got some sorting to do. But what I like is that I've got a usable space that I can just sort of sw swivel my chair from there to there. And then, yeah, art journal away. So let's give you a look of the, of the rest of the room because um, I have got, let's see... A little pile of stuff down there to sort out we're often left with those aren't we and i'm not sure whether i'm gonna leave my sewing machine out or put it away it does have a home on the shelf because it's um it lives in a box basically and then i've got some other stuff i just need to sort out but 
I am pretty happy with my progress today and I'm um, just going to unpack my lights and see if they work and yeah, maybe try them out. I don't think I'm going to hang them though because I haven't really got anywhere to hang them. I need some hooks and um, we need Dr. DIY for that, don't we? So as always, thank you so much for keeping me company while I've been doing all this. Try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now. So how did the cardboard stuff come about for you? Because you've got a bit of a history with building with cardboard, haven't you? Tell the... It actually goes back to foundation days, I think. Tell the friends on YouTube. In, in the course that I did in foundation, the, the topics that I chose, it was um, more 3D and furniture, and we ended up, uh, we ended up making a, a chair that for, you could sit in cardboard. Did it have to be out of cardboard then? I think everybody, yeah, I think, I think they the did, didn't they? Was, was the fact that it was about structure, so yeah. you, know, you had to understand how cardboards, where it's where its strength lay, and painters with Montreal colours or something crazy. Oh, did you? So you did paint it? I did paint it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some photos Yeah. Oh well, we'll dig those out for you for the for the YouTube friends. They're going to love that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're thinking of doing a YouTube channel called The Cardboard King, but yeah, we're just playing with the idea at the minute.